Let us start by examining the nature of ideas. All of our knowledge is founded upon our conceptions and our ideas. An idea is generally defined as a representation of a thing in the mind. Such things as hunger, cold, etc. They are patterns of our ideas. We can have inward representation of ideas, which means they only exist in the mental sense, such as spirit, thought, love, hatred. They, they are mental ideas because they have no shape or sense in them. Every object of our idea is called its theme, whether it is a being or not. If it is considered as possible as being, it is said to have an essence or nature. One example would be all things that were created had an essence to them even though they were not yet created. If the being is actual, then it is said to have existence also. A way to illustrate this is a rose in winter. It's dead, but it still has an essence. In summer, it has existence also. And every other creature's essence is distinct from its existence because it may exist or may not exist at that time, but it may still have an essence. Substance is a being which subsists by itself without depending on any other created being. For example, wood, stone, fire, spirit. They subsist by themselves. What that means by subsisting by itself is it cannot be annihilated, destroyed, or reduced to nothing, even though its particular form and shape and properties may have been altered. For example, a horse may die, or a horse may get old, but you still have the essence of a horse. It is a substance. Houses can be made rubbish. They can be destroyed, but you still have the essence of the house. Some substances have conscious thought. In other words, they are thinking and they have the power of thought. Some would be some examples would be God, angels, the mind of man. Matter and mind are two sorts of substances. We also call them body and spirit. Simple substances are either spirits which have no manner of composition in them. In other words, they have no list of ingredients. In this sense, God is called a simple being. He has no ingredients. He has no parts. Elements are a single substance. They cannot be reduced or resolved into two or more substances or of different kinds. They are one ingredient. One example of an element would be a soldier is an element of an army. You break down an army down into its basic parts and you come down to soldiers. Compound substances are made up of two or more simple substances. And an illustration of this would be a recipe. It's a compound because it is made up of different ingredients. 